What I love about jazz is being able to improvise and to put my heart and soul into what I'm doing. Jazz is basically being able to express yourself in an unlimited way of, of expressing yourself. Uh, I'm Ken Cooper, Ken, uh, Kenneth O'Neill Cooper. I grew up the uh, first 12 years of my life in a little place called Dandy <laughs> on it. So yeah, that was me. I was raised by my maternal grandparents. My grandmother did not like me playing the baritone horn. It was noise to her, so I had to quell my desires to be a musician. The only music that we were uh, allowed in the house was every Friday night, I think it was, we would watch Grand Ole Opry. In 1959, I moved with my dad to California. I was in heaven when I moved to my dad because he understood me wanting to be a musician. And every day I actually heard my dad practice. And that was something I wasn't used to. My dad knew everybody. He would have quartets and our trios that he would be playing. We had a beat up piano in, in there and people would come in and they would do small jam sessions. Members of the Count Basie's band would come over. In 1961, Art Blakely came over and he brought his group. So they did a jam session on it. Herbie Hancock was a piano player. Theolonis Monk was in the house and played on that beat up piano that we have. That's the kind of music that I grew up on. I'm happy to be back in jazz because I didn't really play jazz until I moved here. I decided to leave music in 1976 on it and, and go into corporate America. I'm a provider for my family. I saw a lot of broke musicians and I never wanted to be in that situation on it. So there was, no, there was never any regret on it. In 2008, my father turned 80 years old. He gave me his horn, the horn that you see me using, his busher. He basically said, you're gonna take this horn back with you on it, period. We're going to Federal Rex and we're shipping the horn back. And I said, well, Dad, you don't give up your horn. No, he says, you know, Ken, I'm not playing. I have a tree problem, you know, I've been sick. He's had, had a bunch of cancer problems on it from smoking and all of that. He says, only thing I ask you that when you do retire, get back into music because that's your, that's your passion and that's what you want to do. Literally three weeks to the day, he died. So after the fact, I'm wondering if he knew that, was, yeah, it was his time up on it. He, yeah. And then <laughs> uh, two months later, I got my notice that I was going to have to retire. That's when I start picking my horns back up and practicing. And that's a promise that I that I kept. I, I decided that I was going to give honor to my to dad and and the people that you know he introduced me to. And what I realized is is that. I wanted to do my own music. And so, 012 was when I first recorded. All of a sudden, I'm doing what I want to do, the way I want to do it. I, I couldn't be in a better situation other than I wish that people knew about it more. <laughs> All of the casinos before probably 08 used to have entertainment. Now we're down to maybe four of the casinos out of the nine having entertainment. 
future of music and often will depend on how well the casinos do. I live here in Laughlin. I'm gonna die here in Laughlin. My idea is I want as much good to happen to this town as I possibly can. And there's not too much I can do. I can't throw out a lot of money on it. What I do is have a little bit of talent. I'm truly independent. I have no studio, I have no producer, I have no uh, uh, record company, I have nothing behind me on it. So everything I have to do is have to be on my own. You have that much opportunity to reach some kind of stardom. And then maybe this much on it more where you can kind of have, get recognition on it. And then the rest of it is the millions of people who are out there who are great and you don't know anything about it, like my dad, okay? So yes, I, I would like to be recognized for my music. Whether I will achieve it in my lifetime, I don't know. I can only do the best that I can do. And I'm trying to do the best I can do all the time. And I'm hoping you like it. <laughs>